finished setting up our whole member only homepage, and this is going to be a great starting point for our products template. So essentially the products template, we just want to see on each individual product. But the easiest way to start is by actually copying this entire section into your products template. So from your member only home, let's go ahead and hit command C and then click on your pages and come all the way down to products template. Now, because I have this already done, my screen will look a bit different, but I'm going to give you the idea anyway. So click on the body and go ahead and hit command V. This is going to paste in your uh, section so you can see everything is done. Why this is so easy and key is we spent all that time setting up these JetBoost uh, voting system and when we go to implement the booster we need to and tie together JetBoost, everything is already done for you and you don't need to redo any of that work. As you can see above here, I've gone ahead and just kind of scaled this down so that it's each individual product. The easiest way to do that The easiest way to do that is just go ahead and expand everything out here. And because this was copied from a non collection list page, we had the embedded collection list. Well, we don't need it since we are now on the product collection list page, but we want all this information underneath. So just go ahead and grab that product container and just pull it right above. And you'll see very quickly, everything else follows with it. So we don't need anything else, but this HTML embed, just go ahead and drag that right up as well and then delete out this product list wrapper. Awesome, now we have got a single product. Uh, looks like we went up one too far here <laughs> because I'm in uh, the product container and see how our um, drop downs here are included in this flex container. We don't really want that. So take some time and get your formatting set up. There we go. Make sure your formatting is all set up and you're ready to go. From here, you can see all of this additional information is done for us, and you don't really have anything else to do in this section, which is really, really nice. Up here, all I did was pull back in this collection list wrapper and link it back up to products. If you prefer to keep this just very product specific, you don't need to pull this wrapper back in. But to recreate this, I've simply scaled down this image container be sure to duplicate the class before you do it and made it 50 by 50 instead of 80 by 80. I've gone ahead and just wrapped this uh, so that it fits all nicely on one line. So as you can see here, horizontal wrapping. And then I went ahead and added in this tag filter um, so that we could have a little bit of uh, filtering on this just to give you an idea of what you could do. Again, feel free to style this however you would like. The main thing that we want to add on here is this really nice comments form. So as we are looking at each individual product, we want our members to be able to comment on it. Remember I said earlier we were going to reuse that text block, that script block. So go ahead and hit pause, go back to your members only page and copy and paste that script in the same spot. So if you remember, you're going to paste that script right here in the before body tag of now the products template. Okay, so that's the first step we need to do. From here, this little form, you can just drag in the same way we've done before, and we just need a text block, or I apologize, text field, and a text area. Go ahead and format however you would like, set up your button, and we're gonna duplicate the same process as we did before for our success message. So go ahead and click on success, and duplicate out your Lottie animation, and this time I said, adding your comment, please wait. I've also gone ahead and set up the empty state here so that folks know there aren't any comments. I just renamed it here to be the first to start the discussion and added in a little header that says all comments. Feel free to hit pause and set this up however you would like. When you're done, just be sure that your success message, you click back over on normal state. And I'll talk you through a couple of other hidden things here on this form. So as you can see over here on the left hand side, I have two form fields, but then lots of these HTML embeds. This is where the power of HTML embeds are really going to come in handy for us. So let's talk through a few of these. I'm going to first walk you through the purple collection list embeds. 
What this is going to do, and they are included in the notes as with the other script. So what this is going to do is just pull a bit, just pull a little bit of data behind the scenes so that if you're adding in automations to pull forward these comments, all of those data fields will be there for you and hopefully avoid a little bit extra data manipulation. So I've gone ahead and added in the product name and given it a value of name. So that field is from these fields. So I've gone ahead and given it the name of the product and repeated it for an ID, the product ID and the slug. Again, this will be easy for us to upload that information into our product comments field and tie everything together so we can revisualize that data. If you're not using automations, you can feel free to omit these. Um, but if you are using automations, it will help you. The two that are not purple that are HTML embeds are pulling information from member stack. So we're going to walk through how to set all this up and what this means, but you can absolutely add them right now. Again, the code is in the notes, so go ahead and put them in there. They won't do anything at the moment, but essentially what this is saying is we're going to get the member ID and the member name. That way we can visualize who's filling out these forms without having to ask our members to submit their information again. Once you have this whole form all set up and everything styled the way you want it, you just need to make sure that your nav bar is set up correctly. So as we've been doing, we need to make sure that we have our all products link linked correctly. This time it's going to go to the member only home as it did before. Profile, we're gonna add in our member stack profile attribution once we incorporate that and the same with the logout. But go ahead and set up profile and logout and leave it unlinked. After you've done all that, added in your footer and made your adjustments, your product template page is done. The last page we're going to set up is the members dashboard. Once that one's done, we can finally move on to connecting everything together. Mm -hmm.